good afternoon from Lake Nona, Florida. We're here today to stay at the Lake Nona Wave. We're checking in and we wanted to say thank you to the Wave for hosting us on this stay. So the Lake Nona Wave Hotel is described as a luxury lifestyle hotel and their website says that they are the world's most technologically advanced hotel, which is pretty exciting and we definitely cannot wait to explore more of what this hotel has to offer. As you walk into the lobby, you are greeted with lots of really just cool and eclectic art. There's a huge collection just in the lobby alone, but as we go through our room tour and we explore the rest of the hotel, you'll see that that art carries all throughout the theming, not just on the walls, but it is everywhere. And because it is the holiday season, they do have holiday art. There's like these neon signs everywhere, and I would definitely call them Instagrammable moments. It's very cool and definitely lends itself to just taking tons of photos. And we definitely did that while we were here. We took about a million photos. <laughs> so now that we've checked out the lobby a little bit, and don't worry, we will be exploring the lobby and its bar and restaurant a little bit later on in the video. But now that we've checked it out, let's head upstairs and take a peek at our room. All right, here we go. We are checking into room 1728. And this is one of the penthouse suites. We also check out some other room styles after this tour, so stay tuned. Let's have a look around. Let's see, ooh, this is nice. And it's a craft your own spritz. It's a mocktail. So ooh. they, they crafted Aww. this for us and it gives us the directions. We can make one with this kind of drink or we can do the lime yuzu, but there's options. Edible flowers, mint, lemon, very exciting. So now uh, just out of my peripheral, which way do we go? Do we go right or do we go left? Let's start with the living room. So I will say okay. we, we have stayed here one night. It is amazing. Like, I don't mean to be dramatic, but this is the nicest hotel room that I have ever been in. Right. Ever in my life. Well, let's just show you what yeah. we mean. Oh, the living room, you say? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the size of an apartment. I mean, I think this is probably 10 times the size of our first apartment. Right. <laughs> like, so this is just the living room area. You've got a large table here. There's a wine bar back there, like a wet bar back there. There's a coffee bar over here. This is the living room area. There's a couch, a couple of chairs here. TV with surround sound. It sounds amazing. Right? Yeah, I've been doing some work at this little desk right here. The views are fantastic. Like right? if I have to work, I wanna work here. You know? Also, these windows are auto tinting. So like depending on where the sun is, you can see that these windows are not as dark as these windows. Oh yeah. Because these windows are auto tinting because the sun is in that direction. But also, wait, I want to show you this. What are you trying to show them? You're trying to show them this button right here that says, Oh yeah. Shears open close. So let's say you just, you don't want all those views. You don't want all that light. You can just hit this button. Yeah. Also the artistry in this room. Look at this lamp or this chandelier. <laughs> yeah. Look at this art on the wall. Look at this art over here. It's just so cool. Just painted on the outside of the wet bar over here. Yeah, I love it. It's so eclectic and like, I don't know. I just like being around it. Oh, you want those, those curtains back open again? Just come on over here to your iPad and you open up the curtains in the living room. Living room. The sheer curtains, you want to you wanna open those, right? Just yeah. use your iPad. And they open right up. You control every curtain right there from the iPad, every light right there from the iPad, and the air conditioner. It's very much like a smart hotel room. Yeah. And there's other smart aspects to the room, which we'll get into in a second, but it's it's very, it just feels like luxurious. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, in here is what they call the pantry. This is where you get your, you know, all of your cups and your microwave are in here. This is a refrigerator and a freezer right here. There's uh, a sink. Oh, sorry, I made some tea, so oh, there's, no. a little, there's some dishes in there. Little dishwasher, an ice maker. You've got um, also any sort of silverware you might need. Comes fully stocked with Aquafinas. Then we head over here. Like we said, full surround sound. It is a Bose system up in the ceiling. Then we head down this little hallway here. There is a, a guest bath, just a, like a half bath here. By the way, speaking of uh, fancy high tech things, <laughs> there's your toilet that opens up. This is so cool. You know? And there are three 
three of them in this room. Yeah, three. every room in this hotel has one, at least one of these toilets in it. Very cool toilet. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been transported back to Japan. These toilets are so cool. You know what my favorite thing about these toilets are? What? Say you're done with it, right? And you close the lid on it, and you're like, all right, I'm done. You don't even have to flush it if you don't want to. Oh, Walk yeah. away, automatically flushes itself. It you says, know. I know you're done going to the bathroom. <laughs> don't even worry about it. You know what my favorite thing is about those toilets? The heated toilet. The heated seat. <laughs> so we have a bidet at home, but it's not like this fancy. This The heated seat, ours does have heated seats, but this is like... Wow, on another level, your butt feels luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> this is the room that Jackson stayed in last night. He had like the best sleep of his life. So comfortable. Well, he slept in later than he ever has. It was great. We all got good sleep. Right? Nice TV on the wall here. Another thing that I wanted to point out is not only are there reading lights, right? But next to each side of the bed are the controls for the lights, the curtains, and then also, USB, USB-C, and a plug So on both sides so that if you need to charge your device, good to go. I also just like love the look of this, uh, the backboard of like the bed. It's yeah. so interesting. Everything, everything about this room is so interesting. The carpets, the wallpapers, the pieces of art. It's just very cool. This chair. Yeah. He's interesting. <laughs> Uh, and then we go into the bathroom here. Hello, a gigantic mirror, an entire wall of mirror right here. There's a closet in here with bathrobes and slippers and iron and hair dryer and vanity kits and these little fancy hangers <laughs> that you need for your, you know, your, your gowns. Yeah. What were you going to say? I, I was just going to say stuff because oh. I know <laughs> I went on it. Uh, let me just go into this gigantic shower in here. Oh, you just wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is nice. This is a very large shower. You're so far away from me. Well, I just, I like the color. It's, it feels so... Do you remember when we were talking about how things feel, like, moody? And, like, that's what this feels like. I love this. I don't know, I just love this. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It really is. Then we head next door to where the toilet is. Whoa, I hadn't opened this door. Look at that wallpaper in there. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, that's it's awesome. Just, it's so funny because like... Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm so used to staying in, you know, like theme park hotels, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love a good theme park hotel. But this just has so much personality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just love how it's not just like white or gray. Like, there's so much color, so much personality. It feels good to be in here. Also, each room has a button that says relax. That it's a subtle change in here, but it does get slightly dimmer. So it was nice to have as, like, almost a nightlight. So Jackson, when he got up in the middle of the night, he knew where the bathroom was. But it wasn't so bright that it kept him up. Right. So, now that we've explored this side of the room, shall we explore the other side? Also, I like that there's, like, speaking of color, They, like, accented the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, it's everywhere. The art is everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's another (laughs) area of the room over here. So this is where we came in right here. This is the front door. Yeah. This is where we came in. This is the primary suite. So this is where we slept and the baby slept. Yeah. This is huge. I mean... Panoramic views. (laughs) Gigantic TV. The TV is almost as big as the windows. We can see. So this has been really cool. We're right by the airport. We can watch the planes take off and land. Oh yeah. It's been really cool yeah, to see. you can see MCO over there. Yeah. So, I mean, this is a great location if you're looking to be near the airport, especially. But well, we're not too like, far how cool from- It's like right there. We're not too far from the theme parks. We're about 35 minutes away from Disney. Oh, right, yeah. That's not bad at all. No, no. But so this morning, we got up a little bit before the sunrise and it was so, just like beautiful we opened the windows from our button on the side of the bed we opened up all the shades and we just watched the sunrise like all around us the the changing of the colors in the sky it was like truly magical to wake up that way yeah like i never want to wake up any other way well well (laughs) sorry i know look at these cool like uh what are those like benches I don't really Seats? know. Yeah, I just like we. I was me and Jackson were playing on this last night where we were like, he's like, let me show you how to sit on this seat. 
Because you don't really know. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, show me. And I like this one. This one over here, yeah. Yeah, I think it's just fun. Also, they did provide us with a pack and play, which surprisingly enough, we own a pack and play. Mm -hmm. Baby won't sleep in it. The slept baby in slept one. in that one. <laughs> <laughs> so looks like we're going to be doing some research into that brand. <laughs> But the, yeah, this is awesome. A Louis Vuitton and Marc Jacobs uh, book down there, just oh my in gosh. case. Look at this book. Yeah, this book is gigantic. I've never seen a book this big, and it's uh, I haven't looked at it yet. I gotta I gotta open it up, but it's the the cabinet of natural curiosities. Look at this complete Whoa. color, complete plates in color. Oh my goodness! Yeah, look at this. Ooh. Open right up to the bat page. I mean, I just like. Wow, I gotta show Jackson this. Ooh. We didn't look at it yet. He's gonna. Oh, look at this one. Oh. Ooh, creepy. The cephalopod. Wow. Right? Those cephalopods. Oh, yeah. There's some urchins. We're Crabs. In the sea. We're in the sea creatures. Let's see. Oh, seashells. Ooh. Wow. What's this? What's this thing? Oh, the butterflies. Oh. This is a cool book. Wow, right? I kind of want to buy this book. Was, but yeah, this th is. And they like, t like, they're all labeled. So I think there's like a thing in the beginning of the section that you can go back and be like, I need to know what kind of oh. spider this is. These are the wasp nests. It's like a beehive. Yeah. Wa yeah. This is just rocks? I it's guess. It's coral. Yeah. Oh my, that's neat. I don't know. I just thought this was so cool. And it's just like right here. Oh, here. Wow. Maybe this is where. Oh, there you go. Tells us there. It's the, 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 the thesaurus. <laughs> wow. Oh, snakes. Is it, oh, is this a real thing? What? Go back to this. Is this a real thing? I mean, I think so. Hmm. But yeah, this is amazing. This book is um, wild. They're like caterpillars and snakes. Oh, there's so many snakes. Who knew? Um. <laughs> you knew. But I thought this was really cool. So look, look, well, I mean, look at that. That's a book. It's hefty. Right? Oh, so also behind the pack and play is a wine cooler Ooh. slash wine bar area. Yeah. Let's go through this door. Oh, you need a giant mirror again? <laughs> Got you covered. Uh, let's see here. What's off to the right? Oh, this is the closet comes with a body pillow inside of the closet is a vanity area where you can sit another mirror yeah lots and lots of storage for all your shoes you can go here robes of course ironing boards and an iron and this extra blankets and pillows up here but this is truly like i mean there's just so much storage if you're planning on a long stay i think this would really feel like home i mean not like my home this is way fancier than <laughs> <laughs> but like, move in here. Yeah, but you know what I mean though? Like it feels homey. I'm gonna enter this next room backwards okay. because I want to go this way first and show you this is the other toilet. There's another bidet in here. So you got the electronic bidet and the old school bidet and right Jackson there. Jackson came in here and he turned it on and it was like a fountain and I was like, no! Ah! He's like, it's a water fountain. <laughs> he thought it was very cool though. Yeah. So now let me go back into the closet over here mm, okay. and then I will turn around and show the main bathroom. What? Look at this. We took a shower in there last night. It is humongous. It's the size of another room. You're probably, it really is. I mean, it really is. You're probably wondering like, you took a shower with this, this open window here. Yes, we did. No, we didn't because there's another button that controls these curtains, these shades. Yeah. I mean, it's just the coolest thing ever. So in here, giant basin tub with a mirror infinity feel to it because mirror to mirror over here double vanity sink lots of space lots of lighting very natural light uh you also have just like a bench here in the middle of the room i love this i wish we had enough room for this in our bathroom yeah. it's just so nice to have a place to sit in the bathroom i'm gonna go inside the shower here because oh, yeah. show it show it this is the shower I'll be on one side over here. Controls are over there. So you've got a handheld, a regular shower head, a rainfall, another rainfall. Wow, that's a lot of a lot of stuff. This shower is great. I love it. I love all the natural light in here. I love the space in here. You could, uh, I don't know, you want to do push-ups in the shower? You no. can do it. No, I don't. You want to do a cartwheel in the shower? I don't you know. You can do it. <laughs> Seems unsafe, but I think it's possible. But it's, yeah, it's very, very spacious. Look at this view too. In here taking a shower, looking at Drive Shack, looking at 417. <laughs> yeah. So in all the excitement, we totally forgot to show you one of the best parts of the room, 
there's a huge balcony right outside this large window. So let's go check it out. How huge is it, will you say? I, I walked out and I was you like You go to shocked. that door. <laughs> yeah. You go oh, to yeah, that yeah, door. Okay. And I'll go down here to this door. Because this balcony spans the entire distance across. Hello. We are up on the 17th floor overlooking Orlando. And we are so high up, I think you could probably see the fireworks from the theme parks, because the theme parks are that direction. I can't see anything specific that tells me, like, a theme park is here. But I do see some landmarks. So, like, SeaWorld would be, like, right in this area right here. And then we have to go a little bit further down to get to Disney. But they're there. There's another plane taking off. They also gave us the opportunity to tour a standard king room. So as soon as you walk in on the left, this is where the toilet is. And like we said in, in the other room, every room has a bidet in it. And then just across the hall from that is the bathroom. Single vanity. Walk-in shower with these beautiful tiles. Look at these beautiful tiles in here. Wow. So it does have a handheld and a regular shower head in there. A little step for you to wash your legs on, maybe shave your legs if you need to. And then we go into the main room, king size bed, TV here. There is a little area with a Nespresso machine in it. And then plenty of storage here, a nice little table there, a little chair. And then the same with the other room that we were in, you've got plug, USB, USB-C, and then all of the curtains and lights are here on the side of the bed as well, or could be controlled from the iPad that is here in the room. And then the last thing that is here is this closet right here. So, nice little closet with a uh, ironing board and an iron, and then a robe and some slippers. Oh, also over here is a little little beverage cooler refrigerator and a full-size mirror for you to check your fit on the way out the door. And so this room averages $350 a night. Not bad. Like we said earlier, a proximity of 35 minutes to Disney. So well within reach of the parks. There's also a lot of amenities around town here. There's a drive shack across the street. Um, there's also hospitals here too. This is a medical city. So there's Nemours Children's Hospital over there. There's another hospital on the other side. There's a VA hospital on the other side. And you're right off of the 417, which is the toll road that would lead you straight to the parks. And they also showed us just across the way, same layout. This is a king balcony room. So you've got the same layout with the shower and vanity on one side, the toilet on the other side, still a automatic bidet toilet. And then we come in here, same layout, little refrigerator, Nespresso, king size bed, uh, controls on the side, a little closet over here, table, chairs, window. This is looking out at the Lake Nona Performance Club over there. And then, like I said, a couple of other hospitals over here. This is where Disney was going to build when they were going to put their Lake Nona Imagineering campus. It was that piece of land right there with the cows on it right now. And then the only other difference with this room is that there is a balcony here. So this is a pretty good sized balcony too with a nice little table and chairs set out here. Wow, this balcony is huge. There's a lot of space out here. Wow, yeah, looking over at the airport. So if you have a family member that really enjoys planes, this would be a great hotel to stay at. I'm staying in one of the balcony rooms, sit outside, watch the planes take off and land. So another room they gave us the opportunity to see is a king suite. So this is a, wow, really nice. I like this sink a lot and this fun mirror. Also again, the automatic bidet in there. That's on the left as soon as you walk in. On the right is what could be an adjoining room. We head in, once again, the iPad that can control everything in the room. Some beautiful art on the walls. Uh, there's a wet bar over here with an ice maker and the Nespresso machine. There's a little refrigerator underneath there. Some cups and things like that for your coffee. And then trash cans underneath there. 
all of the controls for opening up the blinds and stuff like that can be operated from the iPad, but also from over here. And then the automatic tinting windows as well. This is a pull-out couch, so you got can sleep two in here. I like the amount of space in here. It's nice. Like, lots of room to move around. Uh, table chairs, some ottomans, another chair over here. This couch, that's a pull-out couch. And then we head into the bedroom. This one also has a balcony. And then king-size bed with the USBs on the side and the plug and then this is where it gets a little bit different is oh look there's USBs in the wall as well as soon as we head in this direction we're heading towards the bathroom on the right you've got a closet with the ironing board and then on the left you also have a closet with the robes and the slippers extra blankets and pillows a hair dryer tissues things like that and then you head into the bathroom area and you've got a double vanity double sink double sink double vanity double mirror and then a big walk-in shower all the suites and above are the ones that have the tubs in them the shower is very nice rainfall shower head and a handheld handheld's kind of hidden behind it there because it's this wand style handheld really like the tiles in all of these rooms that we've seen so far they're very nice and then in here, a water closet. Ooh, very secluded. I like that. Hello. I like this banana wallpaper too. It was a good time. So this room averages about 600 a night. The king balcony around 440 a night, 500 a night. So they're still, all of this is fairly reasonable for if we're comparing it to like theme park pricing for Disney hotels and Disney resorts. This is not bad. This would be a, a moderate resort in the different levels, you could get up to a deluxe resort when you get into the penthouse suite. But here, you're looking at moderate resort pricing that you would find at Disney. Uh, and when I say the penthouse gets up into deluxe, we're talking $5,000 a night for the penthouse. So a little bit more along the lines of the bungalows, the Bora Bora bungalows in the Polynesian or the cabins at Wilderness Lodge. But even with those, you get less space than you get in that penthouse. So, and those are about 6,000 a night. So you're actually saving money if you're staying in the penthouse here at the Wave. Oh, and this room actually has a balcony as well that overlooks the Lake Nona Town Center right there. All right, now that we're all settled in and checked in, our first stop of the night is Bacan for dinner. I'm excited? I don't know what yeah! to expect. So we have eaten here before, but it was, we weren't vlogging. We just came and we ate here. Yeah. And it was very delicious, but this is gonna be like a different situation. Yeah. So let's see what, what's going on. Each of the elevators has a different piece of art in it. As soon as the doors open, what did you say, buddy? It's cool art. It is cool art, isn't it? <laughs> it is cool art. Wow. No, somebody's covered their eyes. I know, with bird feathers and wow. butterfly wings. And now we are headed down to the lobby to go to Bacan for our tasting dinner. Bacan is described as elevated yet approachable, innovated, and just a little bit unexpected. So I don't know, it's kind of, it kind of sounds mysterious. Like what are we getting ourselves into? And uh, I'll tell you what, we are getting ourselves into a very delicious dinner. And here at Pecan, you can experience the bold flavors of the Americas through their entire menu. They've got signature cocktails, interesting mocktails, exciting hot and cold starters, salads, they have main entrees, and they also have mains that are meant to be shared. So we started our tasting menu with the House Parker Rolls. These were served with chipotle agave butter and topped with cilantro salt. These were absolutely delicious, crisp, buttery on the outside. We also tried some of the Zero Proof cocktails. So this is the El Dorado. It's got honeydew soda, golden berry cilantro shrub, and a citrus avocado foam. Uh, Tim really enjoyed it. Then the rest of the starters came. We had the steak tartare with plantain crisps and smoky tomato. Next was the smoked pork belly with gooseberries, salsa verde, and compressed pineapple. And this one had a fun tableside presentation with the, the dome coming off and the smoke so that was really cool. Next was the charred octopus with smoked feta and Argentinian chimichurri with olive dust. This was another one that was one of my favorites. It was just so tender. The flavors were briny and salty and it just really gave you that umami flavor in your mouth. It was very good. I would totally order that again. We also had the papa reina. This was the potato and mushroom mash machada. 
There was also lobster burrata tostada with passion fruit, pickled tomatoes, and herb crema. This was my favorite starter of all the, the starters that we tried. Oh, we also got Jackson some chicken tenders and french fries. And our server said that these are the best fries in the world. And they were absolutely crispy and delicious. We all had <laughs> some of Jackson's french fries. Next, our mains came out as if we needed more food. This was so much food, but the mains came out. We started with the pecan burger, which had been named the best burger in Orlando by the Orlando Sentinel. This burger has shallot aioli. It's a Wagyu burger with crispy cabbage and three cheeses. And it can also be topped with foie gras. That can also be left off if you're not into that. But the burger was so, so good. I think we enjoyed it a little bit more without the foie gras, but having both options is great. This is the braised short rib birria. It's braised for eight hours. It's mixed with the birria broth. It's served with diced onions and napales, which are like little slices of cactus. It's got shallots on there and served with Colombian arepas on the side. This was so, so good. It fell right off the bone. And my favorite was the moqueca, which is like a Brazilian uh, seafood dish. This was served with coconut shellfish broth. The black grouper was sous vide and topped with coconut foam and crispy quinoa. I would absolutely go back to Bacan just to eat this. This was so delicious. The broth was everything. It was so great. Our last main was the whole truffle chicken. It's served two ways. So the dark meat is covered in, in buttermilk and fried. And then the breast, the white meat is broiled. It's served with crispy potatoes and brava sauce and sliced truffle. With that truffle flavor running through everything, it was definitely a very lush and earthy and just a hearty meal. For sure one to be shared. We got two sides as well. We got the roasted mushroom and spinach with sweet potatoes and ginger dressing and the roasted mojo squash with crispy quinoa and zucchini and feta cheese. This was my absolute favorite side. I love feta cheese and I just love the feta with the mojo. It was just a great flavor. And of course we ended this decadent lush meal with even more lush and decadent desserts. So all of the desserts were beautiful and delicious and our amazing server even made guava ice cream right at the table. So that was really awesome. Jackson loved to see that. The table side presentation was fun for everyone. The ice cream was for the open face pastelito, which was my favorite dessert. It was just fresh and fruity. And then he set the flan cocho on fire right there in front of us, which again, Jackson loved, we all loved. That was a another super delicious dessert. It was truly dinner and a show and everybody loved it. It was such a great time, but uh, dinner was wonderful. Ooh, it was such a delicious, delicious dinner. The burger was good. The short ribs were good. This Mont Blanc tart was really good. Yeah, I'm excited to come back here again. So after dinner at Pecan, we head back up to the room. We close our magical automatic shades and we let Jackson open his, well, I guess he, he cracked open his chocolate pinata that the hotel left for him in the room. He was so excited and it was filled with so many delicious little chocolates and brownie pieces. It was so good. And it was just another fun little surprise for Jackson. He loved it. Was that funny? Oliver thought that was funny. Wow, buddy, what's in there? Look, you eat this. Yeah, good. <laughs> Oliver thought that was so funny. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'll be having some of this. Heart-shaped truffles. Wow. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's one that I want. Oh my gosh, it's like a brownie. Yeah. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Oh my, wait, do you think that's funny, Oliver? All right, it is the next morning. The bed, luxurious. <laughs> Great night's sleep. You know what my favorite part was, was opening the window curtains in the morning. Yeah. It was so beautiful. It's like a button right next to the bed. You push the button. It was curtains yeah. open up. Sunrise. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we've already dropped Jackson off at school. Now we're going down to get some breakfast. He ate breakfast before leaving, but mm -hmm. we're going down to get breakfast at Haven. Very excited because we've eaten at Haven before. Oh my gosh. And they so it's like a Mediterranean um, Mediterranean flavors and they have this delicious. It's a fish souvlaki. I dream about that. Ooh. Yeah, I loved it so much. We came with one of our friends. We showed you in an old home vlog. I think we added it as like extra footage, but we met up with one of our friends for lunch there and I, it's just so good. Yeah. So I can't wait to, breakfast sounds amazing. Who knows what it's gonna be. I looked at the menu. Oh, <laughs> overlooking the lobby down here. That's where we ate last night was pecan. Oh, but it's overlooking the living room lounge. Oh, and we're going into Haven. Oh no, I'm gonna have an issue. Why? 
There's too many things that look delicious. <laughs> and I want to eat all of it. Like what? I want to have the Eggs Benedict. Oh, I want the pastrami good. hash skillet. Yeah. I want the croque madame. I want the Haven breakfast and the Haven omelette. The Eggs Benedict sounded amazing. And the avocado toast. Oh, I also want an acai berry bowl. <laughs> oh, and pancakes. Oh. Sorry. You want to get a drop the beet juice? Maybe. Also, side note. What? You could be an Instagram. I know. So we came here for Mother's Day, and I don't know if we filmed that. I'm not sure if we did. Did we? No. No? Okay. Well, we came here for Mother's Day, and they had all of these, like, Instagram photo ops. I think this hotel lends itself to Instagram very easily because yeah. it's so different and interesting and eclectic and um, cool, you know? It's hip. It, it, it is. <laughs> We'll have to show you before we leave. We'll show you the rest of this restaurant. It's beautiful. Starting my day off with a decaf oat milk latte. Ooh, I got a regular almond milk latte. Oh yeah, look at the steam on that boy. Yeah, I'm excited because I haven't had coffee yet. You have coffee in the room. Yeah, I did. There's an espresso machine in the room. How was it? It was good. Good. It was the same that we have at home. Oh. Felt like I was at home. <laughs> we got two juices. We got the drop the beet, which is pineapple, apple, beet, and ginger. And then Jen got the sweet green. Pineapple, zucchini, apple, spinach, romaine, kale, and celery. Ooh. So I got the croque madame, country ham, Swiss cheese, creamy cheese sauce, poached egg, and paprika. And Jen got the eggs benedict, two poached eggs, country ham, toasted croissant, avocado, chive hollandaise, and breakfast potatoes. And then I got a side of breakfast potatoes and a side of bacon. She took one bite and goes, oh my god. <laughs> the, every eggs benedict should be served on a croissant. Yeah. Like, wow. Get out of here, English muffin. <laughs> Pretty delicious. Holy cow. And it's like crispy and buttery and... And here's the cross section of my croque madame. Nice thick cut ham, cheesy sauce, perfectly poached egg. It's like super cheesy. Oh, it has like the bechamel sauce on top. I call it creamy cheese sauce. Okay. Okay. Very good. We're two for two. We're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> this restaurant does overlook the pool. I like their fun, like, palm tree lights outside. Oh, yeah. It looks like our uh, Magic Kingdom. Yeah. It really is a beautiful restaurant. We found a, there's <laughs> just like a little nook back here. So upstairs is Haven. We came down like a half a floor right now. There's like this neat little seating area. I have to show you my favorite couch. Is this what you do? <laughs> just under the cherry tree? Oh, yeah. You could sit here, be like, you're in college again. <laughs> Use the USB plug, do some work. I kind of like love this. Look at this. I like this. Like somebody could be sitting here and somebody could be sitting over there. Oh, yeah. Like a bar top here. This is the living room lounge. I huh. love that. Right, it's such pop. a good name. So now that we're done with breakfast, which was delicious, we are headed over to the Lake Nona Performance Center to get a massage and to do some rock climbing. All right, so we're headed over to the Lake Nona Performance Center. And matter of fact, there's an autonomous vehicle outside that can take me there right now called the Beep. So let's get in. Here it is, the Lake Nona Performance Center. And we're not far from the wave. The wave is right there. It was just a quick ride in the beep. And inside, there is Chopra Mind Body Spa. I believe that's where we're headed to. There's also a rock climbing that we're gonna do later. Look at this rock climbing wall. So now we are off doing the rock climbing. So this is a place called Rocks Climbing Gym. And it's really interesting. They have a bouldering walls and then they have larger walls that have an auto belay system over here. And so the bouldering walls have a rating system on them. So like a V0 is an easy one, right? And the tape tells you where you start. If there's two pieces of tape, you start with both hands here. If there's only one piece of tape, you have to find the second piece of tape and that's where your hand starts. But it goes up from there. So like a V4 is moderate and then it'll go up to a V10 and that is harder or the hardest. There was another one over here somewhere. So like a V0 is easy. V6, medium. V7, getting harder. Look at this. And what your goal is, is to follow all the same colors. So like with this V2, you follow the purple ones all the way up. And the goal is to get to the highest possible one up there. So I think now it's just a matter of like doing it. So <laughs> I think we're going to start over here. We'll start at the furthest point over here by the sign at the V0. 
just start out easy. So when you're staying at the Wave, the Lake Nona Performance Center is available to you, and all of the classes are available to guests at no additional charge, including the rock climbing gym, and access to the Chopra Mind Body Zone, which has classes that include things like yoga, meditation, sound healing, and aerial yoga. And we actually liked the rock climbing gym so much, we came back with Jackson the following day and he had a blast. Up next, the walls. So we did a little bit of bouldering, now we're gonna go do the walls. And these are set up a little bit different. So they, as long as it has an auto belay thing next to it, that's where you'd use the auto belay here. I'm gonna start out on this black run, because 5.7, they said that that's the easiest one on this wall, is to start off on black. So that's where we're gonna go. And they said it goes up to a 5.12 as being the hardest. And they said that if it doesn't have auto belay check next to it, you can't use it with the auto belay, you have to use an actual person to belay you. After we finished rock climbing, it was time for our massage, and I chose the Ayurvedic Energy Renewing Detox Massage. There's a quick look around the massage room. They said that they're going to open my third eye during this massage and lead to better relaxation and deeper sleep. I'm very excited for that. All right, so I'm all changed into my robe. We're now in a waiting area back here. It's like a it's lovely, it's like a driftwood, just a bench, and then they're playing like ocean sounds. They're playing ocean sounds back here make me get in a relaxed mood. Well, that was pretty fun. So the Lake Nona Performance Center is available to anybody. You can become a member of it, but if you're staying at the Wave, you can go use it for free. But now, walking back over to the Wave, another nice little aspect of the Wave is there's a sculpture garden out here. All kinds of different sculptures for you to walk through, different areas to sit in. There's music playing. There's swinging benches and picnic tables. It's very nice. There's also a pop-up bar out here. It's called the Fala La Bar. And during the day, it's kind of hidden back there. You can't see it, but then when the neon turns on at night, it really pops and you can find the bar. Can you guys see it back there? It's a little bit hidden. And then we head back to Haven for lunch where we had the grilled octopus with creamy smoked cheese, Fresno hot sauce, and topped with roasted tomato tapenade. And the blackened turkey and avocado sandwich with bacon, onion jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, and garlic aioli. And the mahi mahi souvlaki on pita with tzatziki, zucchini, onion, tomato, and calabrian chili. And the souvlaki is Jen's favorite dish. All right, we are back from picking up Jackson from school, and now we're headed over to the Christmas event here. Oh, what fun. And different businesses throughout the community have decorated Christmas trees on our walk over. This is cool because it's like a walking tree trail right now between the hotel and the town center. Oh, it's called the Evergreen Trail. This one's from Valencia College. Oh, it's got apples all over it. And it's neat because I asked about all these random sculptures out in the middle here, and they said that they're just there as like a form of discovery. So like you might find a red squirrel or a yellow turtle just off in the distance, not on the beaten path, because they want you to discover something new and interesting. Oh, this one is from the USTA. The Tennis Academy. Oh, this is from the Orlando VA Medical Center and they have a holiday peace prayer for our soldiers. And Chopra Mind Body Zone and Spa in the Lake Nona Performance Club, which is where I just came from. There it is. Enhance your personal energy. Oh, the autonomous vehicle that we took earlier, the Beep. They have their own Christmas tree. And then of course the hotel that we're staying at, the Wave, it says Jingle All the Wave. I'm gonna find out where they made these uh, neon signs because I kind of want some. Oh, walk this wave, you'll look cute. 
in the Wave Hotel. I'll we'll get you some Holly Jolly vibes. This is where we're going to. Oh, what fun, a holiday festival. Oh, kids running amok, a Christmas tree, a mobile beer garden type thing, restaurants everywhere. Exciting stuff. So we've arrived at the town center and there is a middle school choir that is gonna sing some Christmas carols. He loves it. There's some cottages down here that seem to be selling local wares. Okay, I'll take a video. We stood in line so he could walk through this. And he just ran through it. This is all he wanted to do. He says no picture, just wants to run through it a few times. So we did it. That was pretty interesting. We just met a family who was also staying at the Wave and they were specifically here to go to Disney, but they like to stay at the Wave because it's such a unique hotel. They said, we come up here and we stay at the Wave and then we go to Disney. So there you go. That could be an option. Lights are starting to turn on around the town center. Pretty nice here, pretty beautiful. We're gonna get in line for the Santa's Cottage Experience. Wednesdays through Sundays from December 8th through 23rd, right next to the letters to Santa. We're gonna head into Santa's workshop in just a little bit, maybe like 20 minutes. There's a box here where you can mail off letters to Santa, and we're heading into Santa's workshop. All right, Jackson's got his puff ball here, and then we're waiting to see Santa. This is Santa's workshop, and Oliver's ready to go too. here today. Are you excited for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, I am too. I am too. You know, I have to apologize. I'm a little tardy. That means late. I was baking cookies for Peppermint the Penguin. Have you met Peppermint? Oh, he is so sweet. You simply must meet him if you haven't. I I forgot to tell Santa that I was coming to the Oh What Fun Festival. It's one of our favorite festivals, don't you know? Yes. So, um, maybe you can help me get Santa here. Would you help me? Yeah. Yes? What if we all yell Merry Christmas very loudly on the count of three? Would you like that? Yeah. At the top of your voices and I want all the big kids too. Because <laughs> there are no adults in this room. <laughs> are there? No. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Merry Christmas! Oh my goodness gracious. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm here. It's so good to see you all. Oh my, you've gotten so big. Yeah. Would you like to sing a Christmas song? Yeah. All right, Mrs. Claus, what should we sing? Uh, what are these? Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell. Let's sing Jingle Bell. Not yet. Okay, not <laughs> year, yet. Next year, next year. Note right. taken. Well, Merry Christmas. Mario, Mario. Eatable candy. It is, yeah, it is an edible candy cane. <laughs> what did you think? It's good. Yeah? Good. You liked it? Did you know all the songs? Yeah. You did? Yeah, but. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And what did you tell Santa that you wanted for Christmas? Uh, so the plane's want done. Hot you want all Hot Wheels? Okay. Ooh, they're getting ready to do a, stir a Cirque style show with some aerial silks and other tumbling things. Oh, look at this. They're going up.
All right, it's all done. We're headed out. We had, oh, what fun we had. <laughs> that was good. I had a great time, yeah. I think my favorite thing was definitely meeting Santa. It was a really special experience. The neat thing about this event is that it is within walking distance of the hotel. Also, can you guys see the hotel in the oh, background? Yeah. It's all red and green for Christmas. So we are at the end of the day. We're headed up to the room. Um, I had the best day. It was good. I yeah, had so much fun. And the fire will come. Oh, we're talking about how oh, there's like a fireman's button <laughs> in here. We don't want you to push it. Yeah, he said, I'm not going to push that one. That's just for the firemen. And that's true. It's just for the firefighters. We don't push that one. Yeah, four it's not there good for your Oh, yeah, oh, we don't want that. Also, one thing that's really interesting about this hotel is that each floor has a different art wall when you get off the elevator. We did it. We made it back to the room. What are you doing with that iPad? Oh, so this iPad, I know we showed you this a little bit earlier, but it's all, everything in the room, the lighting, the dining, the key, you can put on your do not disturb. So I was checking out the in-room dining and I think... You get buckets of ice. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, you can order, look at that. Okay. Zero proof cocktails. Oh, that's fun. So I think we are going to do... Signature entrees. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, okay. it's from uh, Haven. Okay. You know, we've had Haven a few times this trip and I'm not, I'm going to say I'm not mad about it. Yeah. That is actually one of my favorite restaurants at this hotel. Bacon was also very amazing. Well, now there's also a restaurant that we didn't get to go to this trip called oh, Nami. Nami, yeah. yeah. Ooh, we're going to have to come back. It has an omakase menu. Yeah. We'll show you one day. It's hard to explain. We'll have to show you. Here's something else that I like is when they do the turndown service, they bring you little chocolates, little bonbons. Yes. So we ordered from Haven, we ordered room service. All right, I got the uh, roasted snapper, crispy quinoa, Greek rice, tomato caraway reduction, and preserved lemon emulsion. Ooh, that sounds good, okay. We got Jackson the kids pasta with red sauce. Yeah, look oh. at this huge thing of cheese. <laughs> He's gonna, gonna love, love that. that. <laughs> I got the Haven burger. So this was prime beef, smoked gouda, avocado, crispy bacon, tomato, bib lettuce, pickles, dill and mustard aioli. And, and then it came with my choice aside, and my choice was fruit. I also got the heirloom salad to start. It was under the green and healthy menu. So I was like, yeah, I want to be green and healthy. So it has Aleppo vinaigrette, tomato marmalade, green goddess, and grilled sourdough. Uh, with burrata and heirloom tomatoes. It sounded really good, it looks really good. Our bags are packed up, <laughs> we're leaving today. Yeah, that's it. This was our stay at the Lake Nona Wave. It was fantastic. Really enjoyed this hotel. Really enjoyed the proximity of everything. It was like within walking distance that we went to last night. Oh yeah, so when we went to the Oh What Fun event in town center, it was right there. Yeah. As, as a matter of fact, if you stay on the opposite side of the hotel, you, you look down into town center. Yeah. So you can get like a whole view of that. But uh, I had so much fun. The yeah. food is delicious. The rooms are so cool. The artwork is just like fantastic. It's just so different than any of the hotels we've ever stayed in. Right. So, yeah. So unique. Yeah, it really is. And well within proximity, 35 minutes of Disney. Yeah, so I know you said yesterday we met a family at the Oh What Fun Christmas event and they stay here on their Disney trips. Yeah. So. Stay away from the crowds. You got good food all around. You can go to an Oh What Fun event yeah. and then drive down to Disney. Piece of cake. Yeah. I don't know. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, obviously this room really like was the cherry on top of the cake. Like it was, it was very, is that what they say? Cherry on top of the cake? Uh, yeah. The cherry on the icing? You just say cake? cherry on top. Yeah. <laughs> This room was definitely the cherry on top. This was amazing. But clearly this is a, a very special room. So the standard rooms have the same like really eclectic art, the same like vibe. Um, so yeah, so I definitely think this is one to check out when you're here in Orlando. Yeah, so all in all, it was a fantastic stay. I wanted to say thank you to the Lake Nona Wave for having us out. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.